In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use Canva's Beat Sync to instantly sync any music with your video footage. Instead of manually trying to edit music to your video footage, you can use Beat Sync to instantly sync any soundtrack with your video. With Beat Sync, you can get a perfectly timed video by auto matching your music. Whether you upload your own music or select a track from the Canva library, Beat Sync can automatically sync the music with your video footage in a single click. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to sync music with our video using Beat Sync. So the first thing we need to do is open up a video project. To create a new video project, we can simply click the videos tab at the top here. From here, you can view thousands of Canva video templates that you can use to create your project. No matter what type of video you're trying to create, whether it's for YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or any other platform, you'll find the perfect template here. But to speed things up a bit, for this example, I've already started creating a video, so let's go to my recent designs on Canva and open it up. This should take me to the Canva editor. For this example, I'll be making a promotion video for my new Quantum Designs t-shirts. If you haven't already, go ahead and start by editing your videos, adding your text and graphics, and adding all your scenes. Of course, you'll need to have your video before you can sync it with music. Luckily, the Canva templates and the video editor makes it super easy to edit videos fast. And a quick note, make sure you click these little icons in between your scenes here to edit your transitions as well. On Canva, you have the ability to add some really cool transitions and even select the transition duration, direction, and the colors. Adding some cool transitions can really help your video stand out once you sync it with your music. So now that I've created all the scenes for my video and added my transitions, let's go over how to add some music. If you like, you can simply select some music from the Canva library. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the audio tab. Here's where I can browse the Canva library for all sorts of music and audio tracks that I can add to my project. They have thousands of audio tracks from all sorts of music genres and styles. No matter the vibe of your video, you'll definitely find the audio track to fit your needs. They have some free tracks available, but to access all the audio files in the Canva library, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So while browsing music on Canva, you can preview any track by clicking the play button on the left hand side here. And once you find the track you want to use, simply click it to add it to your project. You should then see the audio track appear underneath your scenes. But for my video, I think I'm going to upload my own music. So let's remove this track by right clicking and deleting it. To upload my own music to sync with my video, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click the uploads tab. From here, let's go up and click the upload files button. You can then find and open up the audio track that you want to use with your video. Once it finishes uploading, you'll see it appear in the audio tab from your uploads menu. And just like in the Canva library, you can click the play button here to preview your track. So let's select the music that I just uploaded and add it to my video. There we go. So now that I've added my audio, let's check out my video and see how it looks before adding beat sync. Not bad, but as you can see, the video really isn't synchronized very well with the music. So to fix this, let's go over how to use Canva's Beat Sync. To access Beat Sync, the first thing you want to do is select the audio track on your project. You should then see the audio toolbar appear at the top here. From here, you should see a tab that says Beat Sync. Let's click that now. You should then see the Beat Sync menu appear on the left hand side where you can sync your music. At the top of the menu, you should see a tab that says Sync Now. To sync your music with your video, you need to click the toggle button on the right hand side here. When you click this, Beat Sync will then start synchronizing your music with your video. And voila! My video and audio track have been synced. You may notice that Beat Sync actually changes the length of some of your clips in order to sync it with the music. So now that everything has been synchronized, Let's check it out and see how it looks now. Now 
As you can see, everything is much more snappy and my videos and transitions now move to the beat. Instead of spending tons of time trying to edit everything to get it just right, we can now use Beat Sync to do it instantly. Once you've finished creating your video, you can download it by going up to the share button at the top right. And from the drop down menu, let's click on the download tab. Here's where you can select your download settings. Under file type, make sure you have MP4 video selected. You can also adjust your quality and make sure you have all of your video slots selected. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the download button. Your video will then be downloaded to your device and you can upload it to your website, social media pages, or anywhere else that you like. So let's take a look at my completed video. Not bad. I think that'll work great for promoting my Quantum Designs t-shirt on my social media pages. So that's a quick overview of how to use Canva's new Beat Sync tool. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.